I'm meeting you at the turning point of my life. Another turning point. Every day is sort of one, isn't it? This is pretty major. And um, I know it's in my power to create that, starting with my belief. But I'm blessed that I have an ally that has created this dream for me. And it's the most powerful uh, physical human force on the planet, the United States government, because I turn 65 tomorrow, and the stream is called Medicare. <laughs> it begins with a loss, because I've had a therapist. Now, before you go further, we know we're going to adjust this just a little bit. Yes, a little close. In light of everything that we just talked about, how valuable is discussion like this? Is that helpful? With you, yes. Then continue. It begins with a loss because I've had this therapist for the last three years that I just had to say goodbye to because she's not Medicare certified. And she referred me to a couple others that I'll have to pick from. This has been my only relationship in the past three years, my only adult relationship. Other than that, I have my three teenagers. But like one of the things she came up with um, is that I have Asperger's syndrome and that's why don't have friends um, my last girlfriend I was 59 and a half last time I had sex there was a white man in the White House and um, just not many friends <laughs> and um, well I've been on disability so secure disability for the last all few right years. now stop just for a little bit because we're gonna help you you're really gonna like this you're really really gonna like this conversation in fact, everything that we said in the earlier part of this day was to bring us to this place where we could have this conversation. And we don't expect you to comprehend everything that we're saying all at once, because we're saying a lot all at once, but we're going to give you some key points of understanding that are going to make so much sense to you that it's going to set you into a whole new understanding and therefore into a whole new point of attraction first we want to say to you that there is nothing that you just said or if we hadn't cut you off nothing that you were going to say that isn't exactly true in other words everything that you're saying is true we just want to ask you if these things don't have many friends just had this one person that was sort of paying to listen to me and haven't had a sexual relationship these things that you s said are they things that you want to continue to be as they have been and of course we know the answer to that question of course not Abraham that's why I'm bringing them up I don't like things the way they are but we want you to understand that things can't change when you keep the conversation active about how they are and it just must make you want to go crazy in fact it feels like that sometimes to all of you when we say to you you've got to stop talking about how things are if you don't like them because if they weren't the way I don't like them I wouldn't feel the need to talk about them Abraham I feel that somebody needs to do something about it and it's a sort of cry for help all of you are doing it Esther complains about having too much to do thinking that somebody will come to her aid but not enough people can come you see because they can't buck her current nobody can buck your current the current that you've got going has to change and the first thing that has to happen is you got to stop putting words to the things that are the way you don't want them to be which we will admit is not an easy thing to do because you've been trained in this life experience by many who have come before you to be truthful to tell it like it is and in a belief that you will get your assistance from them big part of you is looking forward to the assistance that you're going to get from Medicare and we're glad about that too but there's this feeling that I'm going to get help from someone and that's what makes you state your case so often about how things are because let's face it as you were growing up 
the more independent you were the less aid anyone gave you and the more needy you were the more aid people gave you and so there's a sort of practiced vibration that started when you were really 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 little that is still going on not just with you with a whole lot of people but you blessed being that you are bring us this exaggerated version of it so that we can talk about it in a very strong way so we're just going to hit this head-on in very blunt terms you got to stop talking about how things are unless you like them and you got to start talking about how you'd like things to be I get that. what you're going to discover this diagnosis that they've given you we love it we love that they've given you this diagnosis because this is the way we interpret this diagnosis this is infinite intelligence speaking to you and you can take these words to the bank it is our promise to you if you can hear what we're going to say to you in our interpretation of this diagnosis you are an intense focuser uh -huh. you are like a dog on a bone <laughs> a good thing an intense focuser which means when you're focusing on an issue that isn't pleasing you momentum 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 when you're focusing on something that does please you momentum 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 but the part you have not known is that in all of this knowing what you don't want you have launched more rockets about what you do want than anyone who has ever sat in this hot seat before you have a vortex filled with such specific desire that that high flying vibration is incredible and that's why the tug of war within you is so strong so the combination of having a really fast moving vortex and being a focuser like a dog on a bone focusing in opposition to what you want that's what's causing that tension within you and that's why they give you that label and we're saying to you with less effort than you think you're going to be able to begin to turn your attention more to things that you do want mm -hmm. and it is our promise to you that when that momentum begins that momentum that matches the momentum of who you really are that that ease will come over you and that what you're wanting will begin to flow into your experience in a stronger way okay. I haven't really spoken to the main issue well we don't want you to but it's important no it isn't yeah. it is it, we, we know that we know that it feels we're going to stand on your toes we know that it feels important to you ah, good toes we know we know runny nose we know that it feels important to you itchy nose we know that it feels in funny toes I mean hole in Esther's sock we know and runner up her leg we know that it we know that it feels <laughs> snorted into the microphone we know that it feels important to you we know that it feels really important to you but if you can <clears throat> something caught in Esther's throat <clears throat> distract yourself if you can distract yourself if you can distract yourself from any issue that feels important it will peter out it will go away but if you give it your undivided attention it will get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger momentum says that it has to law of attraction says that it has to can't get to the bottom of any issues I need to talk about my son well maybe before the workshop is over we can have that discussion but for right now we want to leave you in this place of anticipating so now here comes the quiz are we too close we comfortable with this I just need to talk well before you do before you do we have some questions for you do you accept that you are a vibrational being yes and do you accept that you're offering a vibration all the time yes and do you accept that the vibration that you're offering equals a point of attraction that what you're thinking and feeling no matter who it feels like it's about do you accept that you have a point of attraction going on yes do you accept that you have more control over that point of attraction than you've been exercising mm -hmm. and you think that's true of most people mm -hmm. you think that's why all these people gathered around here yes do you think that you have the ability to increase your measure of control yes we're really pleased with this conversation that we're having and 
your comprehension of this vibration there are a lot of people who would just be annoyed at a conversation about vibration because you're not used to discussing things in terms of vibration we discuss things in terms of vibration because we can discuss things in terms of emotion so does it seem logical to you that the more bothered you are about something the more momentum you've got going on a vibrational pattern that isn't serving you yeah and does it seem logical to you that momentum is going to increase with more attention to that does it make sense to you that every subject is really two subjects wanted and unwanted yes. and can you feel that a lot of times your you and everybody else is approaching the subject in terms of what isn't wanted in terms of what is wanted that's why it feels like an issue do you believe us when we say that momentum is what equals influence mm -hmm. and does it seem logical that if you're focused with someone on a problem and therefore gathering more momentum about that problem that then your influence is perpetuating the problem yeah so except with you yeah well we're standing on your toe <laughs> so then it becomes sort of simple do I want to perpetuate the problem or do I want to perpetuate the solution because whatever I focus upon momentum is going to become more yes so if I perpetuate the solution the solution will get bigger if I perpetuate the problem the problem will get bigger logical right so what we want to say to you is and it would be true of anybody that we would be talking to we can't get to the solution right now because the vibration of the problem is still too dominant so if we try to talk about it now we're going to perpetuate the problem not the solution so I wanted, I wanted to talk about the solution and not to what I just talked about that's not the issue well just trust us a little bit and let's have some more seminar and you just relax and listen to what we're saying because we're going to be talking to you all through the hours that we're moving forward and it is our promise to you that the solution will be readily available to you and depending upon how well your vibration adjusts during the seminar you'll get it we will point at you we will focus we might even bring you back on the stage to talk about it so do you follow that I hope so yeah you've helped us say something more clearly than we've ever said it that has been so long in coming and that is nobody ever gets to a solution by hammering away at the problem you just don't because hammering away at the problem just keeps the momentum going you got to find some way to break loose of it so we'll end with this one really powerful point you could have ten things in your life that are major one of them wonderful and nine of them awful and you could focus upon the one thing that's wonderful with us standing on your toe insisting that you do and the other nine would come up to speed with it and become wonderful too that's power of influence or you could have nine things that are wonderful and one thing that's awful and you could focus on the one thing that's awful and the other nine things that were wonderful would become awful in other words your point of attraction influences everything that comes to you everyone you interact with everything you see and you've got control over it especially you especially you we enjoyed this interaction immensely good time for a segment of refreshment <laughs>